This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo. Thanks for joining us here today in La Quinta, California. Beautiful spot. We're at the Career Builder Challenge. Frank, what do we have out here today? Par 72, every inch of this golf course is going to extract the best out of your game because if you don't play your best, you will struggle. Anything in the 60s, something to be proud of. Teeing off to start the round here at PGA West. This first hole is a 445-yard par four. Frank, walk us through the first tee shot. Only the longest hitters won't hit driver down here, Rich. Three wood um, at that bunker if you are really, really long. Otherwise, sort of try and squeeze that driver down the left side. Shorten this hole up a little bit because it plays every inch of that 450 yards. This one has a chance to be really good. Getting set to play the second shot here at the first hole. This one is definitely heading left. Looks like it is going to end up in the rough. You have to think he'll be happy with that, given that it looked like it was headed right for the rough. Yeah, it looked like that was the only place it was going to finish. But, um, well, <clears throat> it's a little bit unexplainable. Let's see what he does from here now. Lucky break. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Third shot now for Jason Duffner. <laughs> Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. I thought he had that. Well, still a long ways to go. Yeah, I'd like to think at the end of the day he's forgotten about that. Jordan Spieth eyeing this putt for birdie. Minus one, and where are we going? Trying to limit the damage here. This putt is for bogey. So with that, one over par. Frank, this is a nice looking hole. Not long, only 371 yards, but challenging in its own way. It is challenging. Uh, the best approach here really is a conservative tee shot to set up an aggressive second. Little bounce forward. Should be close to 300, 290. Beautiful looking shot right here. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. So young and so accomplished already. Jordan Spieth, ready with his approach. Oh, a 
can't hide the flag stick from that man. Frank, I'm guessing as a player, this is the kind of shot you like. Early in the round, short par four, nice look as you get set for the approach shot. After a tough opening hole, Pete Dye gives you a chance here. Scoring club in hand, if you can get it to the right distance, even 15 feet right of this flag, very much a birdie chance. Ball sitting down here in the rough, he's digging in. It's in the hole, just a sensational shot right there. Just five feet left. Drops the putt to go to two under. Frank, Pete Dye certainly gives you a variety of holes, and, and we see that. Granted, three par fours to start, but each one with a different look. They certainly are, Rich, and it's amazing what one good bunker will do. And the bunker I'm referring to is the one down the left side. That's um, about 285 yards to carry. It's the sort of bunker that keeps you honest. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot, he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. That's one of the more depressing sights in golf. You've hit a good one, and then it just sucks back too much spin off the green. And getting set now for the second shot here at hole number three, par four. Oh, this is right at it. That would be a great look at birdie. Well, just a little too much, Rich. I don't know if it was wind at his back. He didn't calculate it, but he's going to be left with a difficult chip shot here. over this putt, concentrating on the reed. Frank, that is nothing more than a punch to the gut. Oh, it's cruel, Rich. Good putt and deserves so much more. Another shot at it, though. I mean, it takes the wind right out of your sails. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for pop. So just a formality here. Did the job right there. Even par, currently. This game's amazing. You're rolling along, life is beautiful, and then bang. Step away from the controller. Total depression. Frank, we're not at the beach. We're in the California desert but I'm staring at plenty of sand right here. Yeah, looks can be deceiving here. This is where somehow you do have to focus on exactly where they put the flag, and that's on the green stuff. Green is 36 uh, paces deep. Um, if you can just focus on that and don't let Pete Dye's sort of weirdness with all that snaking bunkers left and right, uh, then just try and approach it as a straightforward par three. Uh, I know it's easy to say, hard to do.
common thread here. Rough, rough, rough. Long way again. Rich, do you think we should tell him this fairway out there? Yeah, he's been in the rough all day long. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. That may have been a bit too much to ask for there, that distance putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine to be greedy before you hit the putt, but after you've hit it, two from that distance is fine. Duffner has it for the par. In for par. Well, here we are at the first par five of the day. The fifth, 535 yards. Frank, break it down. It's called double trouble. Uh, reason why, there's the lake on the tee shot on the left side. And then he's reversed it up there on the second shot. He put the lake on the right. Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. Second from an excellent lie. Not looking good, Frank. Uh, I think it's wet. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Right in the heart of the fairway, green light special. Spieth came out of the University of Texas, led the Longhorns to the NCAA title his freshman year. Yeah, one of the advantages of being good early is you all... Frank, they threw him a light vest. He's back on dry land. And I hope this time he swings, he doesn't have the water wings on. So this is his fourth shot after the last one found the water. It's not all over, but uh, right now, too, he's staring uh, down the barrel of a, a very bad hole. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Just singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. This a par bid for Jordan Spieth. Two under par for the round. Lining this one up for par. And that's a par for Jason Duffner, the 2013 PGA champion. What a hole this is. 255 yards, par three, water everywhere you look. This is a real test. It's called Amen, and whatever religion that uh, you subscribe to, uh, you better say a prayer before this one. This has to go in the hazard. It needs to get up or it's going. Might need some wings just to clear this hazard. Uh, 
pump, that water is looking rather intimidating. So this will be the third shot after taking the drop with the ball going in the water. Should be safely on deck. Cody Try up next. One hundred five yards left. It is a windy day out here, Frank. My hat just blew off. This is going to affect the player's shots, that's for sure. There's not enough on that one. It just seemed to baby it. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Missed on that one, Frank. Yeah, not a problem. Eight foot putt here. Well, once you hit double to par, it's time to just pick up and move on. Sitting right now at two over par for the round. Needs birdies at some point, but will take the par to stay at two over. We're at the seventh now, 346 yards with plenty of water on that right side. How do you handle this one, Frank? You've got to pick a target there. A lot of people think when they're laying up off the tee, and that's exactly what this hole is, you just blaze away at something down the left side. But if you're going to pick a tree, don't just pick the tree. Pick a branch or a leaf. Be more specific. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpet. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Frank, this is an important approach shot because our featured player was really good early, a little bit shaky of late. This is a point in time where you need to get it back. Yeah, you almost need to stop, just stand still for a second, uh, almost just flush it out because at the moment you're starting to look right and left at the trouble. Let's get back to what worked. Let's start looking where we want the ball to go, where the flag is, and start going there. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Beautiful roll on that one, right in the bottom. Jason Duffner with a birdie bid. for par. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Well, Frank here at the par 5 eighth, 559 yards. Looks as though the player's getting a break from the water but there is some trouble out there. Yeah, there certainly is bunkering both on the left and the right. Once again, though, par fives are always an opportunity for the longer hitter. Even if you stray a little off, uh, a little off line, then it just becomes a three-shotter like it is for everybody else.
second shot. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Tugged that one a little bit offline to the left. And he'll pay a bit of a price because that rough is a fairly thick. Well, that ball nestled down just a bit in that heavy rough. Now the 2013 PGA champion ready to go with his approach, Jason Duffner. Oh, no, look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is, this is going, going, gone. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. Look out, this one is deep. You just wave goodbye to the green as it goes over. Playing a par five, Frank, what happened on that third shot? Yeah, it was a poor decision. But, um, well, hopefully he can eradicate that from the, the memory banks and um, really knuckle down on this. Do not want to drop a shot or make six here. Frank, not close, but from that lie, not bad. Oh, that's excellent. Seriously, given the conditions, Rich. Locked in on the read and the speed. Oh, how did that mess? Are you kidding me? I mean, that one was dead center. This is for par for Duffner. Well, you could see he thought he had that. It looked in the whole way until the end. Just a couple of feet. So the featured player losing a shot, the question becomes, Frank, have they lost their way? Yeah, live by the sword, die by the sword. Trying to limit the damage here. This putt is for bogey. Well, too bad he gives one back. Frank, the ninth hole, a par four measuring 452 yards. This is no picnic. This is the, the toughest tee shot on the front side. Uh, the easy way to bail out down the left side, it might appear that way off the tee, but then it becomes a zigzag hole where it's very easy to clock up something like a six. Uh, the bunker down that right side, just 300 yards to get past that, but, but it's almost like he gives you an option there. If you do want to challenge that right side, the bunker just might save you from going in the water. But uh, there's no question, the best driver's down the right, but it's the most dangerous one. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Oh, a bit unfortunate. Wasn't able to avoid the sand trap.
player really needs to be dialed in here. This approach shot is not easy by any stretch here at the ninth. Uh, see that bit where they mow? That's fairway. Try and get it in there. Repetitive is often bo sounds boring. This is just shot after shot, and it's anything other than that. Spectacular. You know how to play this shot, Frank, right? You keep your chin up, you look down your nose at the ball, you have to pick it cleanly and keep your head still. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Hasn't been easy, but he'll take it. That's a par, three over for the day. Spieth trying to light the fuse. This one's for birdie. Makes birdie, continuing to amaze on the greens, Frank. Putted well all day, Rich. Uh, had a couple of good holes early on and just, I think, found the groove. Has taken it to another level. So toweled off, dried off, and ready to go. Yeah, well, let's hope uh, this swing he's, hasn't still got the floaties on. Third shot now after the last one found the deep blue. Yeah, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that you got punished for. He's going to have to find something, Frank, other than the rough. Yeah, he's uh, there's hitting it right and there's hitting it left, but when he got to go on, out of both barrels, the game becomes hard. This is definitely not going down the fairway. It doesn't look good. I think it's going to be in the deep rough. Definitely think he'll be happy with that, given that it looked like it was headed right for the rough. Yeah, it looked like that was the only place it was going to finish, but, um, well, <clears throat> it's a little bit unexplainable. Let's see what he does from here now. Lucky break. Good swing, good shot yet again. Even par, currently. A good effort, and a good par putt. Good chance here. And has it, and now a two over par. Well, we've arrived at our third par five of the day here at PGA West. It is the 11th. It is nicknamed, appropriately, Eternity, 617 yards. Frank, it makes the game easy when you play it from the fairway. Especially when you play it from a lie like that. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Well, this is the kind of wind that separates the great players from the average players. You really have to be strong to handle these kinds of winds. Now the second shot to the par five.
Frank, getting set for this approach shot, our featured golfer is a player, it's obvious, in full flight right now. It is. This is where, it doesn't matter what the sport is, and, and golf is a great example for it, though, where when you play your best, it's almost like you're just playing out of your subconscious. Everything happens, it just flows, and you don't really think about it. Now the third shot here at the par 5 11th. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Just an incredible shot. That is a very makeable putt after a great approach. Well played. Well, certainly playable from here. Ball is in the first cut. Not too bad. And getting ready for the putt. Makes the putt and goes to one under. Sitting right now at two over par for the round. Needs birdies at some point, but will take the par to stay at two over. Frank now another clever small par four, only 363 yards here at the 12th. A couple of different options here, Rich. You can lay it up just short of where that nose of the bunker starts to poke out on the right side of the fairway. Then you're going to be left with something in the sort of 140, 150 yard mark to the flag. Or if you want to get a little sort of greedy, you start to sneak it up there where it gets narrow. It's shorter, but it requires a better shot. That's an absolute beauty. Missed that one, and it is going towards the rough. Frank, better than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, that looked like it was headed for that thick stuff the whole way, but uh, a little fortunate. But then I guess you're allowed that in this game. Frank, another good scoring opportunity here at the par 412. Yeah, just have to focus on where that flag is in relation to these little ridges and the mounds on this green. It's called moat because it's protected all by that wall of sand down that left side. That's not really in play for this shot. If you're smart, use one of those little ridges. They can kick it towards the flag. Second shot. Good look at the green. That will be a great look at birdie. Frank, high-level players are, are never terribly disappointed to play from the fringe, and that's where this ball has ended up. Yeah, it, it could have been better, it could have been worse, but in the end, you just could, nothing, nothing much you can do about it now. A couple of choices coming up. This for Jordan Spieth's birdie. Now at minus two for the day. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. In for bogey. Frank, what do you make of this par 313th at 214 yards? It's another example of Pete Dye using those sort of very harsh wooden bulkheads that give you that such a definitive line around the edge of the green. Plus, it's his ability to turn a straight hole into a very angular or crooked-looking hole. 
can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. This one is definitely heading left. Looks like it is going to end up in the rough. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Yeah, that's a good putt right there. From that distance, he'll settle. These putts keep the round together. So with that make, now at three under par. Putt for par, needs one. Okay, that's par. Three over for the round. 14th hole, par four of 389 yards. It is short, but Frank, there is some danger lurking along the way. Yeah, most of it's sand. Uh, two options, really. Poke it down that left side, let it run down there like a bowling alley. Either that or take that bunker completely out of play, um, 290, 300 yard category, and get it down there where it's just a flick wedge. And... Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. in the fairway. Jason Duffner getting set for his second shot. Frank, this one's not looking good. Yeah, certainly not down the fairway line, hitting toward the rough. Pretty good result right there, considering it looked rough all the way. Exactly. Rich really did. Well, we've got about 135 yards left. Oh, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? All of the above, maybe. That's a little bit of a head scratcher. It wasn't that hard a shot. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. <laughs> Getting set now over the putt. So, two over par for the round. Over the putt, this is Jordan Spieth. Never a bad score on the card. That's par. Par four 15th measuring in at 468 yards. Oh, this one's going left, Frank. Into the tall cabbage. That ball is swallowed up. over ambitious
Frank, this ball's in the rough. Anything you change in your technique when a ball's sitting down a little bit? Um, yeah, you put the ball back a little bit further in your stance because you're going to get a bit of grass between the ball and the club face. So you have to allow for that. And keep that club moving. Um, that grass is going to be, is, that, that grass is going to create uh, a certain amount of resistance. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Jason Duffner with a birdie bid. Duffner with the birdie. This would be a huge momentum swing. This one's for birdie. How about that? Four under par. This is the second par five at PGA West of 600 or more yards. The 16th is a pretty good test. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Common thread here. Rough, rough, rough. Long way again. Frankie's managed to hit it in the rough yet again. Yeah, this is, uh, this is hard to imagine. You know, the fairways aren't that narrow today. Nice position, short grass, second shot. This is not hitting in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. Unable to square up the club face, Frank. It was always starting right, and it looks like it's staying there. Well, that's what the great ones do from the rough. They use their skill and their strength to get it out and get it close. Sit down, grow some teeth, look out. It's gone. Either misjudged the win or simply just pulled the wrong club, Frank. Going to take some skill now. Rich, with a lie like that on the rough, you're going to get too much grass between club face and ball. You're going to have to adjust for that and at least take a club or two more. <laughs> this a par bid for Jordan Spieth. Well, that's how you keep a round going, make putts just like that. Locked in on the read and the speed. Nice putt, and now back to level par. Well, 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 here we are at the famous Alcatraz. Oh, nice strike, Rich. Not quite directly in line with the flag. Just drifting a bit to the right, but he'll settle. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. 
should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. Might want to check the GPS on a putt this long. Yeah. Oh, I thought he had that. Just ideal. Good speed on that putt and just a tap in remaining. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Even par, currently. And he makes it for par. One great hole after another here at PGA West. The finishing hole, no exception. Frank, what can we expect here? Great finishing hole. Uh, it's amazing. If you took the three bunkers uh, we're first going to see down the right side, this would almost be a nothing hole. But because they're perfectly situated here, they really shrink up that driving area down the left side. And this is just a reward for uh, a great swing, a great strike, a great shot. Missed that one, and it is going towards the rough. In the thick stuff. Thick? It's brutal out there. He'll need to be strong with this. Did the prudent thing there, didn't he? Yeah, in the end, really, you could have turned that into a disaster instead. See, a good chance, really, to uh, perhaps get away with par. Frank, out of the rough, best to swing a little bit easier or get after it with all you have. Well, a little bit in between. Obviously, it's going to require a little bit of strength to make sure that club keeps going through, but it's still the planning of the shot. Once again, check short. Do, is there anything I have to carry? And even remember, there's always the option of just simply pitching the ball down the fairway and taking your medicine. One last good approach here to the 18th hole. Let's see what happens. Should be safely on deck. Frank, that was a pretty good shot right there. Yeah, he's done well to minimize the damage. Third shot for Jordan Speed. This one just requires a little bit of focus. That's a good day's work right there. Round of 67. Jason Duffner has this one for par. Drops it, and he's at even par. Frank, this had to be mentally draining for a player. So many decisions to make out there, so much trouble to avoid. Well, I think, you know, this is sort of a golf course that, that makes men out of boys. And remember the old saying, you know, go west, young man? I think they were really saying, go to PGA West, young man. Well said, 